and we're in. And welcome back to Terraria, where we are currently in the middle of an evasion. An evasion by Celestial Pillars. Last time we took on the Lunatic Cultist and defeated him a lot easier than I thought. Then again, kind of expected. It's the Lunatic Cultist, after all. And then we took on the Vortex Pillar, which spawned right beneath us. Which is good, because we wanted the Vortex uh, Pillar for the Vortex... Vortex Beater, which is pretty much the strongest gun we have access to. As you see, high ray of fire, it shoots a grenade, and it's just all kinds of powerful. Plus, it looks cool, doesn't it? So, today, we have only two goals, I guess you could say. One, defeat the Solar Pillar, and two, defeat the Nebula Pillar. We'll probably deal with the Nebula first, because it's easier, even though it's also my most hated pillar. But that's just me. Ah, stink bugs. So, in order to prepare for that, I did a little buying and reforging off camera. Don't worry, I only spent a little bit of platinum. You know, I don't have all the money in the world, but we do have a farming method, so I didn't mind spending it. So, what did I do? Well, I took our Electrosphere Launcher and made it, one second, a Godly Launcher. I was hoping for Demonic, got Godly. Only took me half a platinum. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, as you saw with the last pillar, there's a ton of enemies, and they kind of, well, when it comes to tracking bullets, it will track whichever one happens to be closer, meaning although you're doing a lot of damage, you're not exactly finishing off enemies which you need for the event. So I figure Electrosphere electro Launcher sorry, would help us with that, as well as I went and grabbed our exploding bullets, because obviously tracking's nice, but if there's a million enemies on the screen, Explodos might help us. So, with all that being taken care of, I also got 2,000 rockets, and it cost me not as much as you think, especially with the discount card. So, with that being said, let's just get straight to it. Open up our little void bag, buff up, and where is... The nebula is right here, next to our hotel. Okay, cool. We can just fly over real quick, activate our buffs, and let's do it. So, Nebula Pillar, aka the Mage Pillar. Not my favorite pillar. In fact, I really don't like it compared to other ones. Okay, enemies are here. Let's do this. Okay, as you can see, they're very speedy, very tricky. I mean, it's the Mage Pillar. What do you expect, right? Now, let's try to get multiple to spawn and Electrosphere Launcher. Oh, it's not a, um... That's annoying. It's not auto-fire. Because <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure to pick my shots and Vortex Beater help us, please. Normally, I actually don't use buffs for the uh, pillars because, you know, tend to perish a lot. But I figured, you know what? I made plenty and I have plenty more in stash and I'm getting destroyed right now. So why not use a couple? Electrosphere Launcher, with your auto fire. Why are you not auto fire? Oh, they teleport. No wonder they're difficult to defeat. And Void Beast, and... I'm so glad they actually... You can track how many more um, vanquishes you need. Only 75. See, Explodo Bullets. Really nice, because that was 80. And then we looked away, and it was 70. Although, I wonder if enemy rank has something to do with that. Stronger enemies might take off more. That'd be nice. Oh, I'm almost... I'm low on health? Okay, play smart. Play smart. Use your range. Your range for a reason. Get that honey. Honey, good. And there it is. Yep, there's going to be a lot of that today. Because we're taking on the two hardest pillars. Nebula, for magic reasons, and Solar, for... Uh, whatever reason you want to come up with for Solar. I'll let you decide and be clever. You'll probably be a lot more clever than I. Okay, luckily it's close by. Just run back, dip in the honey, and we're back into the battle. Oh, I wish I was auto-firing. Also, group up, please. I had no problem with the vort and can't see, can't see, because nebula. Ugh. You know, it's cool. Not gonna lie, it is really cool, but so annoying. Although we got about halfway on our first run-through, so... Maybe it won't be as difficult this time. Probably because I'm making a video on it, so I'm doing... 
It's that whole subconsciously doing better thing. Oh, I know people are watching, therefore I will magically play better. And I took a lot of damage. Stop grouping, please. Actually, no, keep grouping, but group next to me so I can see you. And sphere launcher. You know, cover up the bottom a bit, because that's where I'm all... And where are the... You know what? Okay, I'm making my way toward the pillar. How do you like that? Hmm? Your precious pillar. I'm right here. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Nothing, apparently. Your spawn rates are... Normally, I get swarmed. Why am I not getting swarmed? There's the swarm. <laughs> all right. A little bit of launcher going out. Please help. And just do little circles. A lot of enemies can be dodged by just doing circles. Okay, only 26 more vanquishes, and we got this. Avoid that shotgun blast. I'm the only one supposed to have a shotgun. Okay, now I feel stupid for grabbing the vortex bullet, or the ex ow, explodo bullets. They're not grouping up like the vortex. Well, there's a little bit of a group. Go away, Nebula Blazer, or wherever you are. Oh, look at that, the grenade home's in, and I just noticed my health. Okay, six more, so we average about 48 per. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Luckily, we have the money, the ammo, and the potion, so we don't mind. Alright, back to it. Oh, I got four more to vanquish. And then we can destroy the pillar, get the nebula fragment, and move on to solar. Which... Oh, hello. And goodbye. Poor little slimy just wanted to show off his balloon. Ow, ow, ow. I appreciate your balloon, slimy, but... Kind of in the middle of something important here. And I think the event does end if the pillar reaches the bottom, but that never happened. Ow, ow, ow. Now we leave the vortex, right? Nope, no, no, no. To avoid this, destroy the pillar. There we go. Now that's where we have the explodos. Because the enemies will body block. Okay, get all the fragments. All the fragments, and we're out. Out, out, nope, go away. Boom! Okay, we're safe. As I sit here, I wonder if Terrarian blood oranges taste like if oranges had blood. Or an orange covered in blood. Hmm. Ooh. So while we wait for our health to come back, let's talk to the guide and show you what Nebula can make. Ooh, nice batch of Nebula. So, super healing potion. Again, from all the fragments. You can make Nebula fragment blocks, which turn into Nebula for and bricks. Because, you know, of course we need more design options. Curious to use them. You can make the Nebula Monolith, which, again, makes the background look like the Nebula, wherever you are. The Nebula Armor, which looks really cool. Nebula Weapon, or Tools, which look cool. And they get two magic weapons, because, you know, range has a bow for bows and gun for guns. They have the Nebula Arcanum, which is a really powerful AoE damage. And then the Nebula Blaze, which is a personal favorite weapon of mine. It does great, and I do mean great, single target damage. But it burns through your mana so crazy fast. And then the Nebula Wings, which are really cool. And Nebula Die, which I am not familiar with. Oh wait. Oh, sorry. I don't know what that was. We're going to sit here for a second. Let our health come back. And where is, uh, there it is, the Nebula. Right next to the jungle. Luckily, Solar is right there in the desert, so... That won't be too bad. Or not Solar. The... Stardust, which is my personal favorite for ease, it's really easy, design, it's really cool design, and the background, also really cool. I love everything about it. Alright, time for the most difficult pillar. No matter what class you play, it's the most difficult. One reason being, it robs you of your ability to fly because of those things, scorpipedes, whatever. They instant kill you, and they'll target you if you fly. They pretty much have to stay on the ground, which makes sense. It's a melee pillar, so it's a grounded-based pillar, but as you can see, you get overwhelmed, so you have to fly, you have to dodge, and yeah, they walk on. Luckily, the scorpion, this, whatever you call it, has a big weakness, and its tail is the weakness. 
Okay, watch out for the fireballs. Oh, and a little fact I bet some of you maybe didn't know. The solar pillar actually attacks you back. Yeah, if you get close enough, it'll launch fireballs at you. So, yeah, incredibly difficult fight. Although we've done good not to get hit, but that's because Explode a bullet plus a lot. And I do mean a lot of practice against this pillar. <laughs> you don't get good against your friend, you get good against your enemy. Ow, and just like that I've lost all my health. Yes, yeah, see? Talk and you get hit. Okay, do I have- no, I'm down to 100 health and a dream. And we've only defeated 30, there we go. See? I start talking like, oh, I got this, this will be easy. They heard me, and they took offense to that. Again, very coolly designed, and it's cool like, oh, they're all melee focused, so clearly we need to make a way to prevent, um, you know, aerial dodging. So let's give you an enemy that will one-shot you, no matter where you are, because it targets flying enemies exclusively. And does ridiculous amount of damage, but only if you're flying. You know what? Let's try to take you on up here in my arena. Don't think they'll spawn up here, but I can try. Well, the Scorpipede does, or whatever it is. Cinder, a Cinderpede? Whatever it is. Okay, so I'm out. Luckily, I think I dodged. Okay, yeah, this is good. This is good. I'm zoning them off somewhat, and I, I just took all my health, and... Yeah. This is why we're only doing two pillars today. This reason right here. Now, to be fair, I guess I did make that more difficult on myself. I thought I was being smart by going to my little arena. Uh, I wasn't. Not at all. And the game wanted to remind me that I was not smart. To which I say, yeah, could have done it in a lot easier way. Just saying. Alright, let's get some honey again. And back to it. I hate this pillar. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I really do. Nothing will ever change my mind. Okay, just... You know what? Let's just focus this... The, 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 mm, sorry. We are playing Ring Around the Rosie, and I did not like it. I'm playing Terraria, not Ring Around the Rosie. Okay, just... You spawned right on top of me. That's mean. No, 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 go, 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 go away, go away, go away. And you're trying to force me into your pillar, I do not like that. Just go away. And there's another one, stop spawning on me. I don't mind you spawning, but not on me, and I'm about to perish again. Just take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Hit the tail, thank you. And there's another one. Okay, calm yourself, calm yourself. Throw some launchers. There's some areas of damage, and go back to blasting. Okay, no anti-aerial monster to destroy us. Relax. And there you are. Well, we dodged one. That's good. Okay, we're down to 25. Careful, careful, careful. Be mindful. There you are. Just destroy the tail. Thank you. Okay, be calm. Don't be careless. Be calm. Don't be careless. Electrospheres for the win. Wished I did more damage, but unfortunately my helmet's for guns, not launchers. And yes, there is. Ooh, we got dodge. Yes, my helmet is made for guns, not launchers. That's the only downside to shoot my armor, in the sense that, well, it only does one of the range types at a time. Which is funny because they make it seem like it could be launching armor when you really can't. Okay, come on. Four. Uh, just take the four. I'm gonna perish before them, but just get the four, get the four. Three, two. Take the two. There it is. Pillar! 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 Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. No, 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 I don't care. I'll perish right here, right now. Just make sure you go. 50 health. We did it. Objective accomplished. Well, we will take it. We wanted the two pillars destroyed. We got the two pillars destroyed. So I'll go collect the last of the fragments real quick, show you what they make, and we'll call it there. Ugh, 
I do not like the solar. Nobody likes the I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a very well-designed pillar, and I do like how they counter the weakness in a realistic way, we'll say. I just don't like fighting it. Nobody likes fighting it. Which is funny, because guess what? The solar, or the solar, the Stardust Pillar is actually really easy. Like, it's not even a, it's a joke to compare it to the other three pillars. And the solar's so difficult. For the same reason. It's just, you can't compare it. Okay. What do you have for me, guy? Show them the power of solar fragments. Mmm, 52, you skimped on me, didn't you? Okay. Solar blocks, can't wait to see what they look like. Solar monolith, in case you want your place to look like it's in the middle of Armageddon. Which I'm sure has its purposes. The solar armor, which straight up just makes you look like the warrior of the sun. Solar weapons, or tools. The solar weapons, the solar eruption, which... I always classify as a sword, but I think classified as a chain weapon, or a flail. I think classified as a flail weapon. Which is interesting. It's also great because it goes through walls. I don't know how far, but it's great for if you have to search in between walls where you can't see anything like it down here. And then we have Solar Erupt or Daybreak. I love this weapon. It's a spear, and you never get to use spears in Terraria. And if you try to spear only play through, you're probably going to have a very difficult time. I'm going to have to try that later. But what I love is the throwing spear for one, and two, it sticks in the enemy and does damage over time, so you can just light them up with spears. It's beautiful to see. And then, of course, you can make fragments using the other fragments. You have solar wings, which are just fiery wings. You know, uh, can you name a more epic wing? And then solar die, which I don't know what it looks like. Alright, so next time, we will be building the my old school arena for... Um, Moon Lord. I know it's not going to work, but I want to give it a try just to see what happens. And aside from that, we'll take on the Stardust Pillar and get ready for the Moon Lord. Oh, what fun and horrors await us. <laughs> well, that was a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing. And if you did, please consider hitting the like button and impacting the subscribe button. It'll help out in the long run. With all that being said, this has been The Mechanist, logging off. Until next time.